Welcome back to my brand new After Effects tutorial. In this tutorial, we are going to create this. Create a new composition. Set width to 1920 and height to 1080. Make it 5 seconds long. Then click on OK. Now import the project files. Create a new text layer. And type your text. Now align the text layer to center. Now right click and select pre-compose. Now drag the reflection map to timeline. Right click and select pre-compose. Double click on it, press S yes on your keyboard and increase the size and adjust the position as shown. Now apply motion tile effect on the reflection map. Go to beginning of your timeline and click on stop watch of title center to add a keyframe. Go to end of your timeline, set both height and width to 150. and increase the exposition as shown. Click on mirror edges. Now come back to main composition. For reflection map, change track mat to alpha mat. Now go to project window and drag text comp to timeline. For the text comp, go to layer, layer style and select bevel and emboss. Open bevel and emboss and set size to 18. Now hide this layer. For reflection map, apply CC glass effect. Open surface, set bump map to text layer. Softness to 5 and displacement to 86. Open light, set light type to point light. Now again apply CC blobilize effect. Open blobiness, set bob layer to text, set property to alpha, softness to 5 and Cut away to zero. Open light, set light type to point light. Now apply unsharp mask. Set amount to 100%. Then apply curves and adjust the graph to something like this. Now you will have nice reflection on the text. If you don't like this reflection, you can always adjust the position of the reflection map.
Now go to project window again drag and drop text comp to timeline. Now apply Vegas effect on the text layer. Set blend mode to transparent. Here you can set any color of your choice. Set segments to 1, width to 3. Now add a keyframe on length and rotation. Press U to see all the keyframes. Set length to 0. Go to around 1 second or 1 and half second. Set length to 1. Now go around 2 and half seconds and set length to 0. And rotation to 180 degrees. And on random phase option. Select all the keyframes. Right click and select easy ease. Go to graph editor and adjust the graph as shown. Now apply glow, set the glow threshold to 50%. Now press the ctrl plus d to duplicate it and set glow radius to 50%. Again duplicate it and set glow radius to 100%. Select the reflection map and draw the mask as shown. Set feather to 250% and add a keyframe on mask path. Now double click on the mask, adjust the position as shown. Go few frames forward. And change the position of the mask as shown. Now select both the keyframes, right click and select EGEs. Drag both the keyframes to one second. Now select all the layer and decompose it. Right click and create a new solid layer for the background. Now apply 4 color gradient on the solid layer. Place it below animation layer. Now set the colors as shown. Now drag the particles and place it below animation form. Right click go to transform and select fit to comp size. Now apply curves on it. Change the blending mode to screen and adjust the graph as shown. Now create a new null object. Make both the layers 3D. Now pan the animation layer to the null one. Now press P and add a keyframe. 
go to end of your timeline and decrease the Z position as shown. Select both the keyframes, right click and easy ease them. Go to graph editor and adjust the graph as shown. Press the road to ramp review. If you want to change the text, open the text prompt and change the text. Here you can change the color of your choice. This is the advantage of pre-composing. This template is free to download. Link is provided in the description. Thank you so much for watching this tutorial. Please subscribe to my channel for more amazing tutorials.